to a new tutorial of Node-RED for Dummies edition Node by Node and today I am going to explain you how the Node MQTT works well first of all there is a lot of theory behind MQTT and today I am only going to give you a general overview of how MQTT works so well when you type for example MQTT subscription and public MQTT on YouTube. You are gonna find a lot of um, images summarizing them. And today I am going to I'm going to tell you the reference. Here it's Veritech. I am using the image of this web page. And as you, for example, here imagine you have a system of Internet of Things where the humidity sensor is sending information to to a broker. So let's see how it works. The humidity sensor gets the, some information of one, one chamber and it sends the humidity of 32% to the MQTT broker. And from here, from the MQTT broker, a lot of clients can have access to get information. Well, for example, Imagine this is your computer, your cell phone, or your laptop, and you want to get information. You want to, to know how much is the humidity here. So what you need to do is subs subscribe. But for subscribing, you well, in Node, in Node Red, I, you are going to see later, we are going to subscribe with a topic. And the topic is going to be checked here in the, in the NQTT broker. And if it matches with the topic, I mean, if it is equal to the topic that you are looking for, you are going to get back the, the humidity, the data of the humidity sensor. So this is basically how, how it works. And, well, for, for getting the information, actually for getting the MQT3 broker, we need a, we need a server where the information is going to be stored. And well, I was looking on the internet and I found this one that is actually a free MQTT server. And for getting access, you need to register. I already did it. You need your email and a password will be sent to your email. So as it, as it states here, so just register and you will receive the password to your email. And well, there is not necessary for you to understand. Well, if you are not familiar with with MQTT, there is not necessary yet to understand it for working in no red according to this tutorial. But if you are familiar with MQTT, you already know what all these names means. But let's check which one we are going to use first. And well, when you register here. And when you go to the part of, of uh, mm -hmm, sample codes, yeah, it was here. It's chart just for explanation. And well, I I'm going. I I tried already with Python, but you can do it as well with Java, Arduino, no, no JS and C. But today I'm going to explain you an example with Python. We'll probably make another tutorial of MQTT with Arduino. And well, what you need to do actually is first install Paho MQTT, as it states here in the free MQTT server web page, in the web page of the server. So you just copy that and go, go to your command prompt here, execute CMD. You just, I've already have that, I have that installed, so you can do it for your computer as well. Um, and when you do that, you need to open Python. And you are going to copy this, this code in your Python editor. And this is that. Okay, but I made some, well, it wasn't working this code on my computer, 
So I made some correction adding client here. You can add this line actually for make it work. Just that line and it will work. Otherwise, if it doesn't work, you can comment and I will will answer to you and help you. And for example, when we run it, we are going to be publishing a message. So you can make the analogy like if it is the humidity sensor and you are sending some information to the MQTT broker. So here the information is published and what we are sending. We are sending, for example, no red for them is here. Oh, let's put humidity just to to be according to the example. Humidity, I don't know. Imagine that this is your sensor, humidity 30, 32%. Okay, let's run it. Okay, and this uh, here in this web you can find as well if you go to my D-A-L-T-Y, you can observe here the messages that were published according to your to your user, of course. Let's make it again because it was, I refresh that. Let's run it again. Okay, let's go here and let's run it. Okay, as you can see here, it's published humidity. 32%. So you see that I am sending information from the humidity sensor to the to the broker. That in this case the broker is the the server on the server in the cloud. And as well you can send information I would say I would say from 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 this part to this screen. It's I mean it's like like it's like if it 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 is like if you are like like if you are you have Python here and you are publishing. I don't know. You can say thirty two percent as well humidity and yep. Some you need to choose some topic here. You can put A for example. You can make it publish. Okay. So you have like uh, imagine this is your your humidity sensor too. And imagine this is your humidity sensor one. So we can see here that what makes the difference is actually the topic because here from Python I am sending just the topic of my email and here I am adding A to the topic. So with the topic you can differentiate which sensor you are using for, for instance. And well we are going to go to no red right now. And what you need to do is actually drag the MQTT node and you are going to, you've already done it, you are going to open it and you are going to first go to this pencil and you are going to type here the link of the server. So the link of the server is going to be here that you will have your credentials when you will register in this free MQTT server. You need to copy this and you type it here and you are going to copy as well the port. Well, you can use another port, but well, let's for a general understanding, just copy them and put them here. And well, you leave this in, in blank and as well, for no red to get access to the to the server, you need to put your credentials here, as well your your email address and well as your password. I received this password to my email. Well, you can use it if you want, but it's better that you have your your own password so you will have this you will have this interface on your computer, and you just put your um, it was in security you put you put your password here and you leave it in blank do not mind about it yet okay so let's check here update 
And well, as I was telling you, imagine we want information from the sensor too. Well, from the sensor too, we can observe here that the topic is going to be all these plus A. So let's get access to that. And well, this, this is the quality of service, but for the moment, do not mind about it. I will explain that in another tutorial, but this is a very general one, but just choose two for, for this example. And let's get information from the second sensor. So we click in down here and we go to debug. Well, here you can you can actually MQTT can receive the the information. I mean the payload even either in a string or in binary buffer. But just to make sure, you can add this code. Just to if you're getting a binary buffer, you can you can transform it into a string. Into a string. So let's click in done here and well let's clean here so okay let's get information from the first sensor let's say imagine the humidity right now it's 45 percent with the topic it's like that and we publish here it's already here it's 45 percent that you can see here it's as well 45 percent so it depends actually in the in the topic for getting access to the different sensors. Imagine if we if you if we get rid of if we get rid of the A, we click in done and we deploy it. We are gonna establish a connection between the sensor one because I said that this is my sensor two and I'm considering this as my as my sensor one. So let's type here another humidity value i don't know we can type we can type uh, i don't know 57 percent and we run it okay the message is published it's published here and you are getting the information as well here in no red so this is uh, how you can create uh, different you can create an interface for for getting access to different different sensors as you can observe here on the, on the image and yep it's actually how you can use a a public a public free server so you can make many projects you can have many sensors you send them here and after that you you will have the information here in a red and if you can if you can have a, a better interface so you can use the, the dashboard as I explained you in my other tutorials but let's 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 check it if it is working correctly here let's make it like this confirm deploy oh wait a minute we need to Okay, need to add them to yes, yes, take it by default. You can make a name, you can put a name here, I don't know. Humidity and well I I've already had this tab, but you can type another time your own your own name here. You can Okay, you can follow this and yep, you can make it like this. Okay, so for opening the dashboard, you go to here, you click dashboard and you click here in this arrow. Okay, let's wait a minute. It's, it's charging. Okay, I we need to deploy it, of course. Okay, you see here, and let's uh, let's get information from the first from the first sensor. Let's say here, 
and let's let's send now imagine it's uh, i don't know 22 percent for example and let's run it okay it's published and you can see here it's 22 percent well in my other tutorials i show you already how to make some you have to put here text yeah it's just edition and I can yeah, you can put another let's check it like this humidity and yep and let's edit here set of test let's put humidity to everything yes just to give a Yep, in, there are many configurations. Well, in my other tutorials, you can find more detailed, detailed, more detailed information about it. Let's change that. And so, and what else we can change? Just uh, a quick view. Mm -hmm. the, the color maybe dark. I think it's. Better. Well, it looks better for me. So let's check it. Okay. So you see, it's like that. Everything is humidity here. Let's test it again. I don't know. Let's change it. 33. Run it. Run module. Okay. Okay. Cool. The information is is here, as you can see, in no red. And as well, bulk information is here in no red. And if you wanna open it in, for example, in your in your cell phone, well, you can use this link in in your cell phone. But I am going to show you. I, I think if you go to I did a, a tutorial of a cloud cloud hosting of no red. For example, if you wanna have a, a, a your your link. For opening in your in your tablet, cell phone, or in your laptop, I mean you can have your your own link, and you will just need to to have that link for checking how it, it is working. But if you want access to that to the tutorial, you just need to go to my to my video No Red for Dummies and Cloud Hosting for No Red. You can find more information in that. But for the moment, let's check this. And just for finishing, we can change right now for the let's change for the second sensor as we as we said. So we click it in down, deploy it, and the second sensor is located here. So let's change just to try. Okay, let's publish here. And you can observe. <coughs> you can observe, sorry, you can observe that it's published here. It's 57 percent. So you can observe it works. Uh, it works well. And well, I hope you you like the tutorial and please subscribe and share with with your friends and see you in the next video. Goodbye.